Okay, so this is the bathroom I've been working on. Um, the vanity we actually kept. Uh, the only thing I did was change the knobs, the hinges, um, and then I had Dad put these um, guides on. It used to just have like the wheel down the center. So these are a little bit better and they're kind of like a self-close. So the vanity was in pretty good shape for being 42 years old, so we just decided to keep that. Or the countertop was like really ugly, it was very dated. Same with the sink, the sink had like a metal ring around it, and then it was a, it was a Kohler cast sink, but it was like a, well, I'll show you. The same color as this toilet, whatever color that is. Anyway, and uh, got the countertop put in, screwed down, I put the sink in last night. I'll get to the, the fun part here, because this is where I made my thousand trips to Menards. So if you're ever going to buy a P-Trap from Menards, I would suggest not buying the cheapest one they have. I bought one that looked just like this, except it was uh, cheaper. It was $9 instead of $22, and this joint right here would always leak. And no matter how tight I had it, I mean, I had it on all different ways. I had it off about five times. I could not get it to seal. I kept telling Dad it had something to do with the plastic compression ring that it was generic. <clears throat> anyway... Now uh, this one came with like a rubber neoprene compression washer and hasn't leaked since and it also has a a clean out that the other one didn't have. So and then I got this flange here to cover up the pipe in the wall. Uh, I put on these valves. These valves are made in USA. The only thing really that's not made in USA is probably this P-trap I'm not 100% on and these lines. Everything else including the sink, um, these valves which are compression valves. underneath here. I don't know if you can see this or not. It says USA right on Kohler. I'm assuming this is made in Kohler. It's a cast sink. That's the stuff in the back here. But it's pretty simple to take out now. They got all these flex lines on there and uh, the shutoff valves. And then also I changed the valve on the toilet which is actually a 3 8 inch, I'm assuming, galvanized rod that comes out or pipe that comes out of the wall. This valve I changed. The other one I could just barely get turned off. I put a quarter turn on here. And this valve is also made in America. Um, but yeah, that's cast and it's 3 8 I went round and round with Dad on that. He told me it couldn't have been 3 8 It's not that small. But it is indeed 3 8 So I had two valves at home, one the right size, one the wrong size. So there's still some stuff. Um, of course the toilet needs to get replaced yet, but I'm waiting on that. And then uh, all this P-trap business. Otherwise everything pretty much went together pretty smoothly. So let me just sh shut the doors here. That's kind of what it looks like. For now, more updates as we go.